A decade ago, she was dubbed the neighbor from hell. The Fox 9 investigators explored her history of harassment, and it appears to still be an issue. Fox 9's Maury Glover explains. It's been nearly a decade since we first told you about Lori Christensen, but the new allegations against her are frighteningly familiar. Christensen's former next door neighbors say she started videotaping them as soon as they moved to her block on East Street in White Bear Lake Township in 2016, and their daughter stopped playing outside because she was afraid of being filmed. The family says Christensen also shouted profanities at them about their dogs, got into a dispute with them over a fence they put up, and had the head of a female mannequin on a stake on her deck, which she would turn so it faced the family's home. After the family moved and put the house on the market, prosecutors say Christensen harassed realtors and potential buyers who came to look at the property. She took photos and videotape of them, yelled disparaging remarks about the people who lived there, once saying they were smoking meth inside the house, and put up no trespassing signs facing the home for sale. You and you, but uh, no, I have all the documentation. This isn't the first time Christensen has gotten in trouble for her bizarre behavior. Back in 2012, we told you how she turned a cul-de-sac on Homewood Lane in White Bear Lake upside down making obscene gestures during a children's birthday party and putting up signs saying things like, I saw mommy kissing a breathalyzer, an apparent reference to one of her neighbors across the street being a recovering alcoholic. She pled guilty to violating a restraining order her neighbors took out against her and was sentenced to 18 months probation. But both the plea and sentence were eventually overturned on appeal. The legal system in and of itself isn't not working. It's her playing it. If she said it's over, then I guess my tendencies are to believe that it's not over. Now, Christensen is charged with two counts of stalking. She posted $20,000 bail before making her first court appearance Friday morning. She's scheduled to be back in court next month. In White Bear Lake Township, Maury Glover, Fox 9.
What, what are is you this? wearing? What, what are you doing? Yeah. We're throwing a Robert De Niro party. Oh. Should be pretty fucking loud. It's probably gonna go pretty fucking late, too. I'm a taxi driver, De Niro. Yeah, I meet the fuck is De Niro. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Who painted that mole on your face? Did you do that yourself? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, fucker. Who are you? Oh, I'm uh, Sam Jackson, you know, from Jackie Brown. Hoo-ha! 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 That's not even, yeah. Scent of a woman? Hoo-ha! 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 There's no consistency here. You're all over the place with your references. Hey, you're upsetting Jinxie Cat. I'm just, stop doing this stupid shit. We're sorry. Hey, when you called the cops, you violated the circle of trust, fucker. We're sorry we called the cops, OK? Are you talking to me? Yes. Yes. Are you talking to me? Yes. Yes. Hey, no, you're talking to me. Are you, you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No, you talking to me. I don't see anyone else here. I don't see anyone else here either. We're trying to talk to you. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides. What the fuck are you doing? That's the wrong Sam Jackson speech. Are you talking to me? 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 Get the fuck out of here. Stop it. Hey. What's nice is in a few years, we'll have a third person to help us do this. Hey. What do you got there, sweetie? Is that a balloon? Did you find a balloon? Oh, shit, that's not a balloon! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> hey! Your baby has HIV. <gasps> Is how bad this could have gone. The condom was unused. Why the fuck says that to a couple of parents? Okay. <laughs> is black. There should be a lot of black families living out here. Yeah, this is only a beginning, but I think it's wonderful. Have you heard the good news? No, but I've got some good news of my own. Lionel, we're having a black family for neighbors. Yeah, they, they just bought Jim Bowman's place for $26,000. $5,000 down on a 20-year mortgage. How did you know? Because we move in next week. <laughs> Your no, folks bought the place? Not. That's right. Oh, oh, hey. Fantastic! Congratulations! Gee, I can't wait to see Archie's reaction. Whoa, I want to see it. Hey, Mom! Daddy! It's Lionel! Lionel! Is Lionel down there? Yes, he is! Oh, hang on! Oh, don't let him get away. I got something to say. Archie, you got him here? You got him Just a minute, just a minute. The two of you go over there on a the couch and do something with yourselves, will you? I gotta talk to Lionel. Come on over here, Lionel. Sit down in that chair, huh? This is very important. Now, Lionel, 
You and I have been friends a long time, right? Right. It's on the basis of that friendship that I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Sure. Jim Bowman, our neighbor down the way, just sold his home to a family of Cullens. No. <laughs> Two doors away, can you believe it? Does Mike know about this? Yeah, he knows about it. All he can say is 12% of the neighborhood ought to be black. 12%? Oh, no. If you follow that kind of thinking, 88% of the Harlem Globetrotters ought to be white. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> but see, it, it ain't the color, Lionel, because, you know, uh, many of your black people are fine, decent people, as you probably know. Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> but they, they'd be more comfortable somewhere else. Right. Uh, they'd be happier with their own kind. You took the rage right out of my mouth. And you're gonna tell them they ain't one. Oh, no, no, Lionel, you can't go up to people and say a thing like that. I mean, this is America. <laughs> That's what I want you to do. <laughs> I want you to take them to York, see? I mean, I could do it myself, but uh, for this job, uh, you got the best credentials. <laughs> see, now, uh, not that I'm gonna ask you to do it for nothing, and you bring this thing off, there's gonna be a little something in it for yourself. Yeah, and I'll be doing it for their own good, too. Of course, that's what I'm saying. They ain't gonna be happy here. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do for recreation? There ain't a crap game or a pool hall in the whole neighborhood. There ain't a chicken shack or a rib joint within miles. No ribs? Lord almighty, what is we gonna do? Well, Lionel, uh, your family? I got to tell you something, Mr. Bunker. My family bought Mr. Bowman's house. And we're going to keep it. We like it here. We like the house. We like the neighborhood. And I know we're going to get along just fine with the neighbors. I'll see you later, Mr. Bunker. <laughs>